ver, aquí tenemos un radio con hash, Toddy. Yeah, yeah, this is a half hatch and half radio. They usually come straight comb, but we get very few peak comb ones. Dice que acá todos tienen casta derecha en vez de cuando un casta caída como este. Mamá, radio. Yes. Si, always, mamá, always. radio. Always. Anytime you're going to breed, you need a green-legged cock and a white-legged or yellow-legged hen. You want the power and the wavos from the daddy and the athletic ability from the mama. You always breed the, the hatch? Yes, always. The hatch with the mama? Yes. No, with the daddy. Siempre, the green-legged siempre. has got to be the poppy. Siempre, siempre pata verde tiene que estar este, como cemental arriba. That's right. Como el gallo. El gallo siempre tiene que estar. El macho siempre que tiene que dejar el hatch because of, por el poder, because right. of power. Power. And the huevos come from the daddy's side. The on the floor a lot of times come from the daddy's side. The athletic ability comes a lot of times from the mama's side. That's why people will breed like hatch and round head. They want them to start good and finish strong. Okay. okay. Same thing with the hatch radio. Hatch sweater, they always use the hatch cock. Well, with the radios, the radios, they fly and jump and they just go through one. And then when they hit the ground, whether it's the green-legged gray or the green-legged hatch, they always do good for us on the ground. For the huevos. For the huevos. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like you don't have. <laughs> <laughs> no good. No good hillbilly. Uh, ben también. Um, medium, a little taller than the other These one. are a little taller. They are. They're, They're a little alto, nicer. Pero, pero no, no tan alto que. They're not gawky, though. No. O sea, no tan demasiado, el, las patas en puro medio, good eyes, beautiful fucking head. Right. And, and like I say, they're usually straight cone, but we get a few pop-out peak no, cone. Not very wide. But they're not wide. They got little football bodies on them when you breed out of the hatch and the gray or the round head. The radios are a little square, and the pure grays are a little square. Dice que, que los radios but sí son when you cross them, y son más anchos los radios. Y the, which other ones? The, 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 the gray? gray and the radios are a little square, but they're straight cone chickens. So, son más cuadrados o más anchos. Este, pero ya cruzados es un gallo perfecto, un pollo perfecto. Uh, the dirty feet. Why the the dirty, dirty feet. feet. A, a, lot your, a lot of your, a lot of your hatch clarets through the years had dirty feet. The hatch radios, a lot of them will have dirty feet. I've always, when I was pitted for myself or anybody else, I've always done very, very well with dirty-footed chickens like and three-way crosses, like a hatch rooster bred to sweater kessel pullets or when I was pitting for people. Three-way chickens always stood out when I was pitting for people, and dirty-foot chickens always stood out when I pitted for people. Okay. Like Jay's, the little hatch kessels we used to make that we did so good with through the years, they all come dirty-footed. Dice que a él le gustan mucho los, los patas choreadas. Este, le gusta mucho también Gallos de tres cruzas. You like, you like better a, a three-way cross and a halfway cross? I like them both. Que gusta igual tres cruzas o mitad mitad. How about a seven-eighth, three-eighth? I haven't been around that many that did stuff like that. You know, I've always Entonces, handled si for people that. Le gustan las siete octavas, tres octavas. Dice que que casi siempre ha sido de tres cuartos. Right. Tres líneas o dos líneas. He's right. Beautiful specimen. Yeah, yeah. They make pretty chickens. And can I have you, them? You, no. And you got to remember, free? these these, free for me? these roosters was running loose probably two and a half weeks ago. Hace tres semanas estaban sueltos y son muy, muy, muy mansitos. Very, yeah, very, very, tame. very tame, very gentle. And uh, like when I come in, when I'm conditioning roosters, usually within the second or third day, I can control them with the feed cup. You know, like they see me coming with the feed bucket or feed cup and they walk to the okay. towards me. I do not put up with cackling. I do not put up with nervous chickens. I do not put up with mean chickens. If they're not tame and mentally stable, I don't think they can win. Dice que, bueno, ahí lo pongo en, 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 en pero si no está este, calmado o, o si es bravo o muy nervioso, no, a él no le gustan. You don't, you don't like nervous roosters? No, I don't. And I'm going to tell you why. Like our cock house holds 26 roosters. Well, when we're full in here, and if one goes to cackling, they all go to cackling. Que, que no gusta que están carqueando porque si uno carquea, todos carquean. If you open the door and one shuffles on your arm, they all go to acting a damn Pero, fool. Uh, ra raiders are known for cackling, aren't they? Yeah, but they talk. They're not nervous. They're like, they're happy. They're very, very. They're not cackling. They're, they're not cackling. So cackling is more of a nervous yes. reaction. Yes. Yeah, or if they run to the back of the box, or if they try to run past you after three or four or five days, get him out of the cock house. Okay. 
Dice don't que, don't allow that because that throws everybody off. Que si metes al cancel y, y al cancel y estás hasta atrás, este, no le gusta eso porque porque son nerviosos o que lo quieres agarrar y se te van de las manos o no lo puedes agarrar en las manos. Eso, todo eso no, no tiene nada de eso. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Done.